Okay, I'm back in Adobe Captivate 12.2, and you know maybe we're at a point in the design and development of this course that we're ready to share it with our client. Now, certainly I can publish this out as a complete project. Certainly I can review it myself by generating a device preview or just clicking on the normal preview, but that doesn't help me when my stakeholder is you know, thousands of miles away in a completely different state or province or whatever it might be. So what do I do in this case? Well, presently what I do is I publish this course out and I do one of two things. I publish it as just a web page and I upload it to uh, a service like Amazon Web Services. They have the ability for me to set up my own web server where I could upload content like this and share it for review. Unfortunately, because it's web only, I don't get to test any of the LMS functionality. So what would I do if that was a critical component of the review? I would have to rely on a third party service that could allow me to publish this as SCORM or XAPI and upload it and then send it out for review. But the problem there is I'm using a third party service. I'm taking myself outside of Captivate and it's a bit more of a workflow than it would be if there was something inside of Captivate that could allow me to send a project for review. Okay, once again, we've upgraded to Adobe Captivate 12.3, and let's say we're now at a point where we're ready to share our project, not only with our subject matter experts, but perhaps the stakeholder for the actual course itself. There's a new icon in Adobe Captivate 12.3, and you'll find it down here. I'm not sure if they've made it blue just to have it stand out and maybe it'll revert to one of the normal type icons in the future, but you can't miss it. It's definitely a share for review icon here. If I go ahead and press this, I of course can give my project a name, in this case, customer service skills. Maybe I want to append it somehow, like maybe this is version 001 and there'll be future version 002 and so on. And then of course, I'm gonna create for review. Now what this does is it's basically the same published project that you would see with the normal publishing process. But what's different is it's uploading this course to the Adobe servers. Now that said, you may have some concerns. You probably are gonna to wanna to talk to your IT department or whoever is responsible for data security and have that conversation because of course it is going to essentially a third party. So you may not wish to use this feature if your company is very, very strict with sharing of data. In this case here, I'm gonna go ahead and, and try this feature out. Normally what I've done in the past is I've uploaded courses to, again, the third party services and shared them that way. But this is, I think, a little bit nicer because I don't even need to leave Captivate in order to share this with my stakeholders. Now, so there's the title, we've already taken care of that. The next thing we're going to do is choose what level of access that this particular course is going to have. So you can choose between private, where you can only view this if you invite someone and they enter their credentials and go through the review. Public is convenient if it's not proprietary information. And you know what I've found in the past, I've had stakeholders and subject matter experts share it with other subject matter experts, which you know are usually within the organization, and that's fine. That's up to them, of course. But if you wanna be a little more strict or they've asked you to be a little bit more strict, you can choose private and we can select invite people. Now, in this case here, I'm gonna use one of my alternate email addresses that I don't normally view. And we'll just type in that particular email address. We have the opportunity to write a message. Please review this module. And then I can click on invite to view. So that invitation is now sent to myself in this case here. 
And what I can do is I'll just open up that alternate email address. And there you can see that, you know, Paul Wilson has invited you to review customer service skills version 001. And I can open this review now. Doesn't matter that your stakeholder or your subject matter expert probably doesn't have Adobe Captivate because they're just simply going to view your project in a normal web browser. Once this loads, they'll see pretty much the same experience a regular learner will go through, except there are some differences here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll press play here. So reviewers can add their own comments on the right-hand panel that you see here. This is exactly what this is for. Maybe they have some feedback they wish to give you. They can say, I like this image. It looks good. And then they can submit that feedback right there. If they've changed their mind, they can actually go through and click on the, the ellipses icon here and edit their comments. Or maybe they want to include some supplemental information, like, you know, let's correct our grammar here. Uh, perhaps change the bottom color, you know, something like that. It can be whatever, obviously, they want to write here. Now, if they decide to view, and you might want to draw this to their attention, they review it on tablet and smartphone view, you know, they might say something like, oh, I don't know if I like the edge of that image there. Please correct the uh, left edge of the image to not show the other character. And they can submit that. Now, what's cool about this is that notice that you've got a comment for desktop view and a comment for mobile view. So if you're looking at the comments as an author of this course, if I click on desktop, it instantly changes my preview to desktop and I can view that. I could open up my Adobe Captivate project, make the changes that they've requested, and then I can mark this item as resolved, and it kind of goes away from view. The resolved message is still there. It's just essentially being stored in a different location. If I click on the mobile view, again, I could open up Captivate, make some changes to the source project here, and again, once I've resolved that, I can click the resolved icon here, and it says no more comments yet. You can show or not show all screen comments if you wish. You can also filter comments. So if I only want to see comments from Paul Wilson and I only want to see comments from today, so if we select those options, and perhaps we want to look at the status of resolved as well, we'll now see all the comments from Paul Wilson, even though we've completed those updates here. I can clear the filter function here and return to the normal view. And of course, the reviewer can go through the course slide by slide, adding the comments that they wish. Let's go back to Captivate for a moment here. So once you've completed your review, you could do a number of different things. Of course, you could now update the review. You could update it to include the changes that you've made and this will update and instantly make a new version of the review available for your reviewers to check out. The other thing you can do is you can create an entirely new review, give it a new version number perhaps, and then create the review. And of course, we can invite an entirely different group of people. Maybe instead of the stakeholders in the subject matter experts, you might invite others from your L&D team to also look at this course. And because they're going to provide different feedback and you might want to look at that separately. Now, let's say the course has been published. It's on the LMS, it's already gone through quality assurance and everything is great and it's been a couple of months. You wanna simply get rid of that review that's up on Adobe servers here. You certainly can do that from the ellipses icon under share for review. We'll delete that and of course now all that data is gone. We'll do the same thing for the original one and you're good to go with your next project.